Wrestling fans, welcome to this week's edition of NCWA Pro Wrestling. I'm John Lloyd, your host, and fans, have we got an exciting wrestling show for you tonight. Stay tuned, exciting action, a couple of interviews, you'll love it. NCWA Pro Wrestling. To stop a friend from drinking and driving. Hop in. Wait. Use your wits. This is your car. Yeah. My brother had the same car. He never let me drive it, though. No? Wait till he hears you've got the same one, and you let me drive it, right? Okay. Yeah. Take the keys, call a cab, take a stand. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. And here they are, the thieves in the night. The Yates Gang, and I gotta tell you, they are accompanied to the ring now. Imagine this: the lady who they stole from a man right here in the in the crowd here at Chocolate, they just yanked her out of the seat. She willingly went along. They have informed me that her name is Softail. The name, and I'm not going to speculate where she got the name, but she has accompanied the Yates gang, the terrors of South Dakota, here to the ring. Perhaps the only way they thought that they were going to get the NCWA Tag Team Championship belt was the way they did it. Just go in and plain, outright, unadulterated thievery. Just take the championship belt and go home. Well, NCWA Commissioner Jim Mitchell is approaching the ring. Now, wait a second. Let's see if we can pick up what's going on here. We're going to see the hometown favorites here, the Heartbreakers, Dan and Doug, from Shakopee, Minnesota, the current NCWA Tag Team Champions, belt or not. We're waiting for them to make their way to the ring as the Rowdy Yates gang. Wait, oh, oh my word! Holy fucking! They came in the ring with a chair. Oh, swinging the belt! Oh, Lord! Oh! What has a chair? We got a. It is all broken loose. Here it's got to be seen. Oh! oh my God! He nailed him in a chair. Oh God! Oh! What? Right, right by our TV cameras. Hold on. Oh, this is one fired up heartbreaker combination here. Wait a minute. The Yates gang have left the ring area. A lot where he goes soft tail. Tail. She grabs the belt. Oh, Lord, they got soft tail here at ringside. Wait a minute now. The Heartbreakers tried to grab a hold of soft tail before she got out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, pardon me if I'm rambling like an idiot. It has all broken loose. First the eight gang steal the belt. Then the Heartbreakers hit the ring chairs in hand. And I'm not sure where we are at here. to follow the action along with you while the Yates gang making their way back to the ring. Perhaps, in fact, we're going to have a championship out here instead of outside ring activity and mayhem and brawling. Bruce Kreisman, I do not envy his job one bit. Now, how he is going to tame these four lunatics, and now you add that fifth element, the parasite, the worm, the slime, Carmine Barana Jr. He instigated this whole thing, I guarantee you. He came to the ring and baited the heartbreakers. He rused. He made it appear as if, in fact, he was going to try to make amends. 
get the combination back together. That was malarkey. It was baloney, pure and simple. When the Yates gang hit the ring, they made sure that the Heartbreakers had their backs to the door to the area that they were coming in from, and it was a, a sneak attack, pure and simple. Heartbreakers one and two. Let's put it that way because more than once I have called one Dan when Doug was in the ring and vice versa. I'm not going to ma make that mistake tonight. Let's call this one Heartbreaker number one. Wait a minute, he's trying to get a hold of him. He's got him now. Oh, geez. Whenever an opponent is trapped in the corner of the Yates gang, he is in serious trouble. They double team perhaps better than any tag team in this area right now. Oh, that is shotgun delivering that shot to the head of heartbreaker number one. And now look at this. Rowdy Yates with that with the cane of Carmine Verona Jr. Heartbreaker number two trying desperately to get into the ring. He's admonished by Bruce Weissman. You can't fault Bruce. He's only doing his job here, trying to maintain some semblance of order. And I'll tell you something. If I get distracted every once in a while when Softail walks past the ring here, pardon me, it's a very attractive lady now. What she is doing in the company of the Yates gang is beyond me. Big forearm from the top. The chant emanating from this crowd here at Chocopee Senior High School. Heartbreakers, heartbreakers. Look at this now. Shotgun Yates with that disdainful stomp. He pinned the man with his foot across his chest. I know he didn't think he was going to get the pin. He was just humiliating the heartbreaker. Tremendous enthusiasm from this crowd here at Jacobie Senior High. To stop a friend from drinking and driving, try explaining things. And I drop me off and pick me up when I can drop you off, shop, and be back in time to pick you up. Oh, God. Take the keys, call a cab, take a stand. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. What's wrong, Vince? My woman's done left me, my dog ran away, and people still aren't wearing their safety belts. Ah, oh, Vince, you singing those buckle up blues again? Some people don't wear their seatbelts. I can't believe it's true. Those kind of people get knocked right out of their shoes. So buckle up, baby. Don't sing me those buckle up blues. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. I mean it, baby. Buckle, honey, suck for buckle, yeah. Tremendous enthusiasm from this crowd here at Jacopy Senior High School. bringing you all the action of the NCWA. Now, a reversal of fortune perhaps here. Caught in the opposite corner now. Rowdy 8 tossed from the ring. Let's see what happens as heartbreaker number two makes the tag. I believe that's heartbreaker, Doug. I'm not going to make the mistake. He could be heartbreaker Tom, Dick, or Harry, as far as I know. The NCWA Tag Team Champions, certainly with a legion of fans, particularly in their home turf. Carmine Barana Jr., this guy, I'm telling you. Listen to this crowd. Shotgun, you look at both of them now working on shotgun, it's now rowdy. Perhaps the more vicious of the two Yates gangs, if you can draw a distinction, and I'm not sure that you can. Wait a minute, where are they going? What's Barana doing? Get them back here. 
Five minutes in and about, and they're walking towards the dressing room. You know, I thought of Carmine Barana Jr. just the other day in a drugstore when I walked past the Fleet Anima aisle. For some reason, his face came into my head. Get him out of here! Shotgun and Rowdy Yates, second generation wrestlers, their father, K.O. Penny Yates, wrestled here in the Twin Cities in the state of Minnesota in the 1950s and the 1960s. He had a reputation as being a guy, oh, that you could beat on all day long and he wouldn't feel it. And now a double team action, placement distracted once again. Tag, times a tag team partner will do more harm than good. He'll enter the ring to try to save his partner. The referee at that point has no choice but to get him out of the ring, and then in turn the ref will miss the double team action. But emotions run high. They run in a fever pitch. And certainly you don't want to stand by and watch your partner being double teamed. Once again, I'd like to thank our crew doing an outstanding job this evening. Even Stewart held. Even Stewart, by this point in time, has managed to stay at least within a modicum of lack of confusion. I mean, Stewie, throughout the years, has been one that doesn't always know where he's going. Tonight, he seems to be doing all right. His brother, I'm not so sure about. Well, now referee Kreisman is being distracted by Shotgun Yates on the outside of the ring. That gave the Heartbreakers a chance to return the double team favor. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's a hamstring for you. He'll be limping tomorrow and probably throughout the next week. Look at this now. Oh, man. Well, you take out the other leg. That's it. That's it. He's going to be crawling now. You know, so many times in professional wrestling, a particular arena will adopt one of their own. Hulk Hogan at Madison Square Garden, our friend Charlie Norris at the American Indian Center, and here at Shakopee, the Heartbreakers, they have this crowd on the palms of their hands. Oh, my. Our camera has picked up Softdale climbing on the ring apron. She came to the arena tonight with another man. I, oh, man, I'll tell you. This feud between the Heartbreakers and the Yates King has gone on throughout the upper Midwest for so long. So many battles back and forth in major arenas. They just plain don't like each other. I'd like to acknowledge some of the fans who never miss NCWA action. Our friend Audrey in the front row. Big Mike playing the professional wrestling bodyguard. Congratulations to Mike. Just bought a huge mansion in St. Paul. Always follow the great action of the NCWA. I'm delighted to be here. Thanks to everybody involved in this big NCWA card tonight. JNC Commodities Incorporated putting this one on. Our friends at Jacoby Ford and of course Jim Mitchell in the NCWA. Oh, he buried that haymaker in the midsection. That's heartbreaker number two, as I am calling him this evening. Or is it number one? You look away from the monitor for one minute, you lose track, but I know that that's Rowdy Yates that just got that boot right to the sternum. 
Rogers whips off the rope. Wall's going right across the chest in for the cover. Schweitzman, come on. Schweitzman, turn around. Oh, Baron is doing it again. There you see him. There you see him. The bug on the windshield of life. Carmine Barana Jr. Distracting Christman. Christman, our cameras keep track of Bruce. This poor guy. Wait a minute, he's calling for the bell. I, I'm sure I understand this. This one has gone completely out of control. This one is haywire. Wait a minute now. Wait a second. If I heard this correctly, referee, referee Baldy Griezmann has got me. He has disqualified the heartbreakers and Softail here at ringside is delighted. Milan is delighted. have been disqualified bringing an object into the ring. Come on, the Yates game brought every illegal out. Wrestling fans, the annual June Spectacular is coming up. Friendly 49er days, June the 17th, 7 o'clock start time, Friendly City Hall in the parking lot. Pro wrestling action will feature dynamic Jerry Lynn, the hot, high-flying actor, as he goes up against J.B. Trask, the superior male of the NCWA. Also on the card, you're going to see the masked professor, the NCWA heavyweight champion. His title will be on the line against the yet-to-be-determined challenger. Wow, the masked professor will be there along with his manager, Carmine Verona Jr. The Heartbreakers, NCWA tag team champions, are there. Their titles are up for grabs as they defend against the Yates gang, along with their manager, Carmine Verona Jr. And if that wasn't enough, also on the card, the Russian assassin, Chris Markoff, will be there. The Midgets will be there. More wrestling action, Friendly 49er Days, June 17th, 7 o'clock at Friendly City Hall. I have a special guest at this time, Scott Lunn, the president of the 49er Days. Scott. Hi, Jim. Thanks for inviting me onto the show. I really Thank appreciate it. Thank you for being our guest. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what 49ers really means? Sure can. Uh, back in 1849, Fridley was first settled. Uh, in uh, 1949, in 1949, the uh, village became a city. And to commemorate that, our Silver Jubilee anniversary on, in 1974 started Fridley 49er Days. And now, now, 19 years later, we're still growing strong. Okay, and what the 49er days, that's going to start with a bang on Wednesday, the 16th of June. That is correct. Uh, the 16th of June, we're going to have at 6.30 sharp, we have our Grand Day Parade, sponsored by the Fridley Lions. And, uh, and, the, uh, and then afterwards, we're going to have at TR's a uh, sock hop and karaoke. Okay, and then on the 17th at 7 p.m., what's going to happen there? On the 17th, of course, we've got the North Central Wrestling Alliance coming out at 7 o'clock to give us a, a, a nice show on the uh, uh, wrestling. That's right. And I'll tell you what, we had a big crowd there last year, and we're looking for a bigger crowd yet because, you know what, it's free. No one has to pay for that. Is that right? Right. We like to give some nice entertainment to folks around the area and, of course, all free of charge. Just come on out and enjoy it. Okay. And then on the 18th, which is Friday night, you have something else special. You bet. We have uh, High Noon, which is a country uh, western band that's going to be performing from uh, 7, 11, 7 to 11 o'clock at night. And then on Saturday, you have something going on again. Uh, right again. We have, uh, back by popular demand, we have the Rockin' Hollywoods, uh, again, 7 to 11. Okay, and then on Sunday, a big special, and I'll tell you what, this is for me, Father's Day special. Uh, yes, the carnival is going to have a Father's Day special from uh, 1 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Unlimited rides for a special price for those special dads that day. Okay, and you know what? You've got a special band that night uh, or afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock, uh, we're going to have the white side wall. So we think we've got a real good roundup of uh, entertainment uh, for that whole weekend. Well, I've been coming for three years now, and I think this is probably one of the best lineups that you've had in years. Well, uh, thanks to a lot of sponsors and uh, some generosity in and around the community, we're able to bring all this entertainment to the folks in the area for free. Okay, Scott, all I can say is Thursday, 7 p.m., 
It's going to be heck because we got the mighty midgets coming for you. Won't that be exciting? I, I'm looking forward to that one. Last year we had the women. We tried to get them back, but you know they're popular demand too. But we 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 got the midgets in for you, and I'll tell you what, it's going to be heck for everybody. All the kids are going to love this. I think so too, and I want to make sure that uh, everybody knows that in case they they don't remember the dates and the times, we have a hotline number that you can call in, and I'll announce it here. It's seven nine four five five two two seven nine four. 5522. If they just call that, they'll get a voicemail, they can get all the information uh, using a touchstone phone on all the different events that we've got going to, uh, through that uh, long weekend. And at the end of the show, we'll put that up on our screen for you in case you didn't get it now, you'll get it later. And Scott, thank you very much, and we're looking forward to see you at the 49er Days. I'll look forward to seeing you too, Jim. Thanks. Thank you very much. two ways to build a body. This way, and this way. Anabolic steroids, another drug that can kill. The Minnesota Medical Association and the Minnesota Nurses Association. Partners in care because we care. Victor, this isn't just a drawing, it's a cry for help. Listen to the children. Learn to protect them from drugs and violence. Call now and take a bite out of crime. Welcome back to NCWA Pro Wrestling fans. This is the part of the show where we read a letter from one of the fans and talks about their questions or comments for us right here at NCWA Pro Wrestling. This week's letter is from Patricia Ellison who writes, Dear NCWA Pro Wrestling, I just tuned into the show a couple of weeks ago and I heard you talk about the Russian assassin, Chris Markov. Can you give me a few more details about Chris Markov? Well, Patricia, first of all, thanks for your letter. We'll be sending an NCWA t-shirt out to you. Chris Markov, the Russian assassin, is one of the great true veterans in all of pro wrestling. He has wrestled throughout the country. In fact, he's wrestled overseas in Japan. He hails from Russia. And believe me, fans, when he makes his way to the ring, there's nothing he hates more than the people at ringside, the fans that are waving the U.S. flag and shouting, USA, USA, USA. It completely drives Chris Markoff nuts. He is irate. He loses control of himself, and he just cannot stand it. So whenever you see Chris Markoff at a ringside, or perhaps you see him walking down the street, Remember to shout USA and watch the reaction that you get. So thanks a lot for your letter, Patricia Ellison from Brooklyn Park. As I mentioned, we'll be sending out your NCWA t-shirt to you real soon. Fans, if you'd like to write to us here at NCWA Pro Wrestling with your questions or comments, we're going to show you on the screen the address to write to us. An IQ of well over 200. That's what he said. That's unbelievable. Exactly. Oh, he's trying to grab a handful of the Baron's hair. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, you know, it's a Baron. He spent about 20 minutes combing his hair before the match, and then he forgot to bring it. <laughs> Boom. Between you and Christman and the Baron, I'm going blind here, and I don't see so well going in. Yeah, there's a reflection. Wrestling fans, the annual Truth Spectacular is coming up 
Fridley 49er Days, June the 17th, 7 o'clock start time, Fridley City Hall in the parking lot. Pro Wrestling Action will feature dynamic Jerry Lynn, the hot, high-flying actor, as he goes up against J.B. Trask, the superior male of the NCWA. Also on the card, you're going to see the masked professor, the NCWA heavyweight champion. His title will be on the line against a yet-to-be-determined challenger. Wow, the mass professor will be there along with his manager, Carmine Verona Jr. The Heartbreakers, NCWA Tag Team Champions, are there. Their titles are up for grabs as they defend against the Yates Gang, along with their manager, Carmine Verona Jr. Fans, if that wasn't enough, also on the card, the Russian assassin, Chris Markoff, will be there. The Midgets will be there. More wrestling action, Fridley 49er Days, June 17th, 7 o'clock at Fridley City Hall. Fans, if you want to update regarding Fridley 49er Days, the number to call is 794-5522. That number is on your screen. The hotline for all the upcoming details for Fridley 49er Days, the number 794-5522. I never thought that I would be able to grow so much as a person, and I attribute much of that growth to my participation in sports. I'd say that this is an excellent way for a high school athlete or, or a, a girl who's not going to be able to pursue her sport any farther to stay involved. There's not only life after sports, but there's a better life because of sports. This message brought to you by the Minnesota State High School League. Strings. Branford Marsalis on the horn. Paul Schaefer on keys. Carly Simon on lead. There are a lot of different parts to play in the American Red Cross. Play your part. Victor, this isn't just a drawing, it's a cry for help. Listen to the children. Learn to protect them from drugs and violence. Call now and take a bite out of crime. Well, fans, that's it for this week's edition of NCWA Pro Wrestling. Until next week, I'm John Lloyd. We'll see you right here at ringside with more NCWA Pro Wrestling. Uh -huh.